Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com, and today let's paint a rock study. And if you remember, we left off with a prepared canvas and blocked in flat colors. And if you really squint your eyes, there's not so much difference between what we have here and the very final image. Really, it's just getting sort of specific and detailed within these larger areas of color. But I've decided to keep this demonstration very simple and straightforward from a technical standpoint. Because as you've seen in other control paint videos, and certainly in the Let's Paint videos, I use some specific layer controls, whether it's locked pixels or layer groups, and they kind of give me special digital advantages. Well, all I'm going to be doing in this entire video here is temp layers. And if you're not familiar, this is a term I like to use for making a new layer, painting larger than I need to, big brush strokes, and then switching to the eraser tool and erasing away some of the extra. And then when I'm happy with it, I can flatten it down. Or as you see in this document, I just keep adding layer after layer, and that doesn't really matter because I'm just not worried about it. And what we can call this is direct painting. I'm not using any trickery, nothing fancy. I'm just adding a layer, painting a little bit, erasing away what I don't need, and then moving on. The only exception is right here where I use a lasso tool. So this is just sometimes I want a hard edge. So I'll just draw a lasso on the screen, which means that's the only area I can paint inside of. And then if I want to paint the other side, well then I can invert the selection and then paint everything but that circle. So sometimes I'll use the lasso very temporarily, very loosely as a way to get a single hard edge. And then as soon as I deselect it, that selection is lost forever. So it's not the same as making careful masks, which I'll use for the entirety of my painting. But other than the few times you see me using the lasso tool, really this is all just temp layers. So I'm speeding up the footage now, but know that this is nothing but repetition. I'm looking at my reference material, and I'm asking myself, is this area a little bit lighter or is it a little bit darker? What's the edge quality look like? I'm not worrying so much about the tiny little surface details yet. I'll do that in the next video. But really what I'm looking at here are minor plane changes. This is not just three large areas of value like I started out with. It's actually little plane changes that are slightly lighter and slightly darker. And if you look carefully at your reference, the fact that it's slate means that as you switch from these different values, there's sort of hard edges in between. The whole surface is very angular and sharp. Different rocks would have a different appearance. And that's why we're doing this study. We're doing this study to learn those unique characteristics that say slate. I'm not making a beautiful painting of a rock. In fact, I'd probably never show this to anyone if I wasn't giving a demonstration. What I'm doing is I'm carefully scrutinizing what I'm seeing. And if I do it right and I really concentrate, I'll begin to internalize this permanently, which means that if I go paint rocks in the future in my illustration, I might not paint rocks in general, I might paint slate specifically. And in doing so, I might bring up some sort of nice, gritty, realistic details that a sort of average rock wouldn't include. So as you're watching me paint here, remember that my major goal is to keep the essence of this original block in. So I gotta add details without drifting too far away from that core block-in essence. We like the block-in. It's simple, it's clear, and it reads well. So I'm sorry to disappoint you if you're hoping for something fancier, but I wanted to make this video to show that sometimes all it takes is some methodical painting. Temp layers are all you need. Now, if you want to paint like this, I encourage you to follow the links below to learn a little bit more about these techniques. But frankly, there's not a lot to show. Now in the next video, it will get a little more technical and we'll add some textural overlays with hand painted brushstrokes. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.